Hey guys, welcome back to Get Real with Jay Reacts. Today we're going to watch the animated series X-Men 97. Now I remember watching X-Men, the cartoon from 92 to I think 96 or 97, but I graduated high school in 94 and I went through a lot of crazy personal things, but you guys aren't here for that. But why, why I say that is that I don't really remember too much about this. So if I'm caught off, a little bit off guard, it's because I just flat out don't remember. But what I do know is this is a fresh series, but it's animated sort of in the way of, I guess it would have been back in the late 90s, probably a little more polished, a little more adult in content and conversation. But I'm excited to get into this. Guys, if you want to watch the full length reaction, check me out on Patreon because I might not have this on YouTube for that long. It depends on the success of this episode one and two. I might just take it all and shove it up to Patreon, but... Without wasting any more of your time, make sure you hit subscribe and let's go. I'm gonna watch this intro, man. This is like the first intro. <laughs> God, man, it's just this this theme song. I completely forgot about it. I'm gonna go back and look to see how much has changed. I don't know who that guy is. It looks like Professor Snape. I mean, uh, not Snape. Voldemort. Yes, thank you. X Men '97. Let's go. Another life cut short. Professor Charles Xavier. The mutant leader's assassination last year by former hmm. NSA agent Henry Gyrick. I don't remember that happening, but again, I admit I haven't seen the whole thing. I don't remember watching all of them. Jesus, Who's this experts kid? Experts debate this and more. Hmm. Says Who's that, gung-ho? A bunch of G.I. Joes. I'm Roberto da Costa, heir to the da Costa fortune. Roberto da Costa. What's this freak's trick? No clue. I'm not like the ones on TV. I'm one of the good ones. A good mutant. Yeah, it looks like a cross between Duke and, and Hawk. We got a storm brewing. Come on, storm. Grab a sentinel blaster and spread sentinel out. Sentinel blaster. Everybody grab your Mega Man guns. I am storm. I ain't afraid of you, you witch. How offensive. Then you are a fool. Is this guy? Stick I don't didn't go over so well. Pardon me, Bishop, for striving Bishop. to resolve matters. Bishop Is it Bullet me, or did these dirt bags get upgrades? Ah, boot it up. That was fast. You see one more are coming. Uh. Oh. What's up, Scott? Deals. Good guy or bad guy? Definitely the good guy. Hang tight. X-Men Street Fighter vibes. Do that one laser, he does that thing and just the whole screen. No, don't! I surrender! Not. I remember the not days, everything was not. Shake my hand. Psych? I'm just kidding. Not. Got home safe. The Friends of Humanity had retrofitted Sentinel weaponry. The professor entrusted us with his dream of mutant human... Were they eating rolls? Scott, while I, I thought he was dead. All my students would gladly and why is he walking? My... I would prefer it be avoided. Stop being a creep, Morph. <laughs> oh. I don't remember Morph. He doesn't care, Gene. Oh, it's Gene. He He's Prego, too. I don't know who's worse. Him or Wolverine. That kid's our only lead to where those extremists got their hands on Sentinel tech. Ah. Uh. Huh? Salutations and welcome. Hank McCoy here. There at the foot of your bed is... Name's Jubilee. And this doohickey capable of teleporting someone through time and space. What? Bishop's bling. He's a time traveler. Mr. DaCosta here is in perfect health. Roberto, we can't let you go just yet. Oh, right. How much? We're more interested in the weapons those creeps had. Your attackers could still be out there, child. So why is he not freaking out? If I was him, I'd be like, holy sh... It's the X-Men! you Storm! You're Beast! You're Cyclops! Say there's something to do around here besides listen to Mozart. We are nature's favorite children. Video games are for nerds. It's gotta be oh, their training no room. Game, it's the danger room. Oh, it's yeah. where we train. That's Magneto. So, what can you do? Fly? Teleport? Magneto's one of my favorite characters of the live action movies. It's Obviously, not even real. Wolverine. You turn your back on your own. Show the Speaking of, some respect. Is Wolverine universally everyone's favorite X Men? Mine was Wolverine and actually Cyclops, which is, I mean, not Cyclops, uh, Colossus, which is probably weird. Said the UN destroyed all the Sentinels. Dr. Cooper, what about Bolivar Trask? 
Trask's been missing ever since his inventions Trask. tried to swap out President Kelly's. He'd need a master mold factory to build new Sentinels and UX. Trask, he's the guy from uh, Days Charles of Future Xavier Past, was right? A dear friend of mine. A little trust, Scott. Trust happens when actions meet words. You're too hard on yourself and the team. Remember when we were young and we'd sneak down to the lake instead of doing our danger room drills? Not At this point like in the show, oh, how yes, long have they been X-Men? Sounds like <laughs> a long still time. like that. Maybe it's time to think of a life beyond the X-Men. You mean leave the right? team? Right? Trying to leave, Jean? The X-Men need us here. The team will be fine. Great. Our leader's dead, our but the team's going to be fine. More. Okay, Jean. Jubilee! What are you doing? Bozo here scared Roberto off. Logan, take that nose of yours and go find the kid. But I don't much go in for being bossed around. Find Roberto. Please. But want to know the worst part about the professor being gone? You. Yikes. I know who we need to see to find Bolivar Trask. The man who killed Charles Xavier. I'm really kind of liking the, the retro drawing style, although it's Updated. I know it's hard. It probably sounds weird to say, but everyone in the club has to be like, "Hey, look, it's the X Men." Thought you were gonna slice Summer's head off back there. Oh, hello, you on the sidelines. So is that a thing in the comic book no lore? It's just baby. Wolverine's always jealous of Scott with Jean. I know they did it in the movies a lot, but I don't know how much of that is, you know, <laughs> true to true to the comics. Oh, it's trouble. How hard would it have been for them to animate him doing the rave style dance with glow sticks? That's like the perfect anime dance. Beats that stuffy nation, right? Hey, they're not wasting time partying when they could be helping people. And people don't get along. Don't I know it, Bub. FOH ran when they saw us coming. Dropped one of their little toys too. Things get too hot to hand. They just happened to drop one of their Mega Man arm cannons on the dance floor. Why would I know where Trask is? You helped fund his Sentinel program. Gyrick, you're serving 25 years. Did you honestly think we'd roll over and let mutants take over the planet? Both I like this anime style where it's like fad. he looks evil with Look his glasses on. Friend. Can't see his eyes. Takes me back to like Ghost in the Shell. I won the day I shot the man you freak shows look up to. Hatred weakens your mind, Mr. Gyrick. Oh, someone else. What? what? Who else is like interfering with Cerebro? I like it when they say run for it, there's nowhere to go. For I am dead. Jesus. Jean, come in. I'm here. All right, so we obviously have some sort of entity that's stronger than she is. We fly into the coordinates, detain Trask, and shut down Master Mode for good. What's going on? Oh shit! It's a Sentinel. They look so different than in, uh, X Men: Days of Future Past. Why didn't they make them look more like these Sentinels? If he could just morph, he could literally be any X-Men at any time. Hero pose. Gyrick warned me you were coming. Trask, we don't want to fight. Trask got a different idea. Final warning, Trask. No. Oh. They're big, but they're smaller. It's like a zombie. Nice. Good job, Beast. Get him, Bishop. Get him, Gambit. So his power, he absorbs energy then? I gotta look at Bishop. I'm curious. Wow. Storm's like a class one mutant, right? Is that how it is? <laughs> Come on, let's do that thing that we talked about. Jump on my belly. Yeah, that was a lot of hype for that main... Sentinel for him to get taken out so easily. But all you do is remind us that our days are numbered. Mm. Yet again, humanity is in the X-Men's debt. This isn't some weird school. It's a family. Roger that. A family that accepts you. Sounds nice. I'm learning about this kid. I'm wondering where he's, what he's about. Whoa, some what's this? Some sort of solar energy. Still figuring it out. 
Makes me strong, though. Just reminds me that I'm different, that I'm lying to them. Who's guess? Here. Do you believe he's gonna fall for this dude? We don't know nothing about him besides he's rich. But he don't take nothing serious. I know I've been hard-headed lately, it's just... Gene and I have an announcement. You're bailing on us to go raise your little one someplace nice <laughs> and normal. Logan, we're not bailing. You're bailing. Who the heck is going to lead the team? <laughs> Charles Xavier was the Magneto? finest man I knew. Despite our What's he doing there? He never knew right, I think. my many failings. Magneto, yep. what Magneto. are you doing in our home? The last will and testament. His school. Everything he built. No. Everything he fought for. What? To me. Wow, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. X-Men. Hmm. Well, okay. So, Charles is dead. Catching up. They should have said, like, recap. You know, at the very beginning. And Magneto's taking over. I don't know. It's weird that Magneto would take over because just what we know about X-Men is he's kind of their arch enemy. Although, sometimes he's kind of their friend and they have to kind of sometimes work together. Which is kind of sometimes weird. So, uh, yeah, let's see what uh, episode two has to offer. Workers have managed to unload all passengers. Any sudden moves in the wheel could come crashing down. I think it's everybody's nightmare. We're scared to be trapped in a freaking Ferris wheel. <laughs> Gotta be Magneto. All right. Is there any other X-Men that could wield metal? Ladies and gentlemen, I... Is that who I think it is? Saving humans? One thing is clear to both humans and mutants. I don't get it, Gene. Maybe he did this for us. I forgot that Scott wants to be the leader so bad. By the former mutant terrorist who'd gone missing following Charles Xavier's Yeah, their skepticism is understandable for sure. With some demanding this unlikely savior answer for his past crimes. It's a pretty cool rifle. You think regular folks can sleep? Please, don't hurt me. Aw, so sad. The depths you humans go. But I am the master of magnetism. Dirty mutants. You're him. You're... Magneto. You shall never be mm. afraid again. It's hard not to be skeptical. Like I said. The only safe and sure way to destroy your enemy is to make him your friend. Seen a lot of futures, but Magneto leading the X-Men. You think Professor X would have told one of them? Maybe Gene or Scott, maybe even Logan, just because Logan's such a such a wild card. I have arranged for the Morlocks to travel to the mutant nation of Genosha. At least in all the movies, right? Wolverine's a special one. This is one of many mutant matters on which we can and will improve. Let Gene scan your mind. See your real plans. I accessed Gyrick's mind for information. Well, but they could see their future, right? Impression that you and Mrs. Summers were leaving us. Not a chance. I'm keeping an eye on you. Scott, like it or not, this is what the professor wanted. I don't know. I would just be like, fine, scan me. I don't really want to be you. here, but this is where we're at. You are the closest thing to a goddess as we will ever see. Xavier wanted this. Even Charles Xavier can make a mistake. When yeah, I don't think he wants to be there, the but out of respect of for Charles. I have wondered what it would be like to be human. Are they not human? I mean, I know they're mutants, but they're still human. They're just not <sighs> normal, boring God, humans like me. Coming. You sound like a mother. I wish to be alone, Rogue. Back when we were friends, I would always sense Charles in my mind. I was in his thoughts and he in mine. I told myself I needed this to protect myself from his psychic powers. Xavier's sacrifice brought about a world more tolerant towards mutants. Sacrifice? I have to go back and watch. But the X-Men still took me in. Do you think your team would still trust you if they knew? And that knew what? has got to stay in its bag. You hear me? Yeah, what's their history? I'm curious. Don't tell me. We'll probably find it out. If Maybe you guys don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Ready yourselves, my X-Men. It's hostile to me. We're here for Magneto. Our rifles are resistant to your electromagnetic powers. Yeah. Obviously the helicopters oh. aren't. Should have thought about that. 
Let's bring plastic weapons with us, but come in with heavy metal machinery. I hereby place you under arrest. You will stand trial at the UN headquarters. I just had a very dark thought. We have iron in our blood. Think about that with Magneto. I yield. There's no way. The dude has a lifelong of crime against humanity. These acts prove Magneto's guilt beyond any doubt. Justice is overdue. Any updates? Right. Folks outside are pissed he's even getting to trial. <laughs> People will look back on today, the day mankind made Magneto pay. Oh, what's this guy up to? Stir the pot, boys, and keep them distracted. I'll only have one shot. It's interesting he's not in like his uh, county blues or orange, like an orange boy, jumpsuit. My people's homes were burned to ash. Because Something you don't we, think about as a kid watching these, but as an adult, you know, right? right? Then my people hunted me with those who had once hunted them. An abomination to their misnamed gods. Believe differently. Love differently. We sing this song to one another. The oppressed become oppressors. Xavier knew this and dreamed we could change. Your words, while kind, do nothing to heal those hurt by your crime. You build right. robots to hunt us. They've broken through the barrier. Protest is a breach in the perimeter. They must want Magneto. I like how they're the United Nations thing right now, and the, they have like city cops with pistols. Storm, watch Magneto and the judges. Our goal is de-escalation. Uh oh, he's, she's getting ready to have a baby. He's here. Oh crap. <laughs> Almost there. I guess when you have the X-Men inside, you don't really need the National Guard. In theory. I am unable to ascertain the nature of the weapon on his back. You've got a name? Executioner. Dang. Gung Ho just got shot. Absorb this! Puts on a cape and all of a sudden he's a badass? Isn't he just a thug? I hate your whining. Oh, dang, that's a. Uh, oh, that's that morphing dude, huh? I thought that was that Raven or Raving or whatever she is from uh, Wolverine's comics. Scott! Gene, you're in pain. Rogue, fly Cyclops to Gene immediately. You, uncall a Magneto. What do you mean, don't do mutant births? I mean, Doctor! You gotta deliver the baby. Rogue, can you use your powers to siphon his medical expertise? Rogue, I trust you. We both do. So, she just took his powers. Unless she just borrowed them. I know this is an animated series, but I wonder if people can die in this, because it's based off the 90s, and no one ever died in 90s cartoons. Oh no. Storm! Which X-Men movie was it where they created that <laughs> shot? To basically take away your powers. This guy's not so awesome now, is he? Now the Magneto got his powers. The breeze is gone. I cannot feel it. Oh no. no the moon she lost her powers. No. Magneto, this was not what we wanted. Your dream. What would you expect to have happened? Laid before you. All the X-Men have done is use their awesome power to protect a world that hates and fears them. Behold their reward. Is this the High Road's destination? Never again. Oh, oh snap. Is he kidnapping them? It's not gonna help. Could have used his help in Age of Ultron, huh? So Ben Fox wasn't part of the MCU yet. I have saved you from your own, for an old friend has challenged me to remember this view of Earth. How vast it is, versus how small we make it. A shared world with a common future, and that my kind hmm. have the right to live in it. That's like an end of an episode speech, Do except right now this episode isn't over. Let me let you down. He has your eyes. 
So you certainly hope he doesn't have his eyes. He'll burn That's everybody in the room. The United Nations issued a pardon for Magneto. I don't know, man. Should he have got a full pardon? Maybe community service. <laughs> Poison? Dark Rust. I hear you and Jean have begun to make arrangements to leave. The professor trusted you, and I trust him. If I may offer advice, Scott. Tragedy lures with fortune first. Alright, it's gonna happen to Storm. <clears throat> it affects genetics on a cellular level. Suppressing a mutant's abilities without the need for a collar itself. Additional tests will be needed before... Hank, please. How long? The effects appear... permanent. <gasps> Oh no. They gotta fix her at some okay. point, right? Not until you're well I mean, well, we have the X-Men without Xavier. Storm getting phased out. Is this her last is this her last cartoon on her contract? <laughs> Jean oh, she's sister. piecing out. It sucks. You of all the X-Men know the heartbreak of saying goodbye. My faith. She should stay because she's she always been an X-Men. And she's part of the core, so she could be in a very, a very effective teacher. One we sacrifice so much to maintain, only to then sometimes watch it break in a blink forever. Mm. Damn, it's gotta be wondering what the hell's going on. Like another woman's life, or another person's dream. Buff, Aurora. If only I hadn't left the UN, I could have. You did what you had to, brother. Storm right. did the same. Storm will spend a day schlepping it with the basic folk and come right home happy as a. There she <laughs> is. What did I, say? I left my wallet first. Wait, Jean? what? Who's what? I mean, Jean. The X Men. What? Jean. <gasps> so we live in a world right now where they're exploring for the end of the episode, where they're exploring uh, alternate universes. So I wonder if. Since X Men '97 kind of just came out within the last year, I wonder if it's a further exploration into the alternate timelines and universes that Marvel is pushing. Especially now that it seems like, and I haven't looked into it, but it seems like the whole Fox thing is fizzled up, and and Marvel has got its property back, maybe. So no, I'm thinking moving forward, we don't have things in association with Marvel. They they are just straight up MCU. Um, so that's interesting. That's a that's a weird theory. It's a weird uh, thought, I guess. But if Gene shows up at the door and Gene's already in the building, and Gene at the door says, "I need the X Men," and she's at the X Men place, and they all look confused, she has to come from another alternate reality or alternate universe. So, guys, this has been X Men ninety seven episodes one and two. Like I said in the beginning, this is on my Patreon for the full-length reactions. I may just keep this on my Patreon, depending on what happens to this video uh, on YouTube. So if it doesn't get any traction, I'm just going to kick it over to Patreon, I think. Or maybe not. Let me know. Let me know if you liked it. Uh, let me know if uh, you hated my reaction to it. So we'll see what happens in Episodes 3 and 4.